Welcome to Embracing the Future of Microsoft Store with Intune for Education video. My name is Saurabh Sarkar and I am a product manager in the Intune product group. In this video, I am going to show you how you can take steps to move your Store for Education apps to the new Microsoft Store app type in Intune. You may be using the Store for Education to deploy Microsoft Store apps to your devices today, like the company portal, Minecraft for Education, or the Whiteboard app. This functionality is set to retire in Intune starting on April 30th, 2023, when Intune will no longer sync with the Store for Education. Then on June 15th, 2023, Intune will no longer deploy Store for Education apps to devices. So to keep deploying apps from the Microsoft Store, you need to migrate to the new Microsoft Store app type. There are a few easy steps to move to the new Microsoft Store app type. First, create the Microsoft Store app type version for your app. Second, copy the group assignments to the new app. Third, clean up the Microsoft Store for Education app by removing the assignments or deleting the application. Now let's see an example on how you can move to the new app type. Now we are going to start by opening Microsoft Edge and then going to the portal intuneeducation.portal.azure.com. Now I am going to duplicate this tab and drag this out to a new window. On the left window, I am going to go to apps and we are going to put in a filter for Microsoft Store Apps Legacy. In the right window, I am going to go to the applications and change the filter to Microsoft Store Apps New. Now for each app in the left window, we will create a Microsoft Store app version of each of these apps. So first I'm going to start with Minecraft for Education. So I'm going to click on New App and then click on New Microsoft Store App. I'm going to run a search for Minecraft Education. I'm going to select the app and click on Select. We see that a lot of attributes of the application are pre-populated. We have an option of uploading an icon. One setting you may want to consider changing is the install behavior. System means that the application will be installed for each user that logs on. This is the fastest way for an application to become available in new user profiles or during device provisioning. User install behavior means that it will only install for the targeted user when targeting user groups, or if you're targeting a device group, it will install per user while the user account is logged on. I want the Minecraft for education application to be installed for all the users. So I'm going to click on system and then click on save. On the assignment screen, we want to copy the assignment from our legacy Microsoft Store for Education application. So we are going to go to the left window and click on Minecraft Education and check the assignment. We see that the application is deployed to a group called 1001 devices. So we are going to come to our deployment and click on add groups and select the same group and click on save group assignments. Now we see that the Minecraft for education has been deployed to the group. Now, if I had more assignments, I would re repeat those steps to copy all of my assignments. Avoid using Intune for education to unassign store for education applications. When unassigning apps in Intune for education, an uninstall assignment is created. This would result in conflicts and inconsistent deployments of the new Microsoft Store app. In order to do so, we would have to switch to the Microsoft Intune Admin Center, search for the application, go to the overview blade, click on delete and click on yes. You should repeat these steps for all your Microsoft Store for Education applications. If you were previously using the private store in Microsoft Store app, to provide a curated list of applications to your organization, then you can use Intune Company Portal to provide the same functionality 
by assigning apps to users or devices as available. If you want logos for your store apps and company portal, remember to add the logo while creating the application. If you're using Configuration Manager and want to deploy apps from Microsoft Store, you can enable co-management and change the client app workload to Intune. This allows both Configuration Manager and Intune to deploy applications. You can then use Company Portal as a unified portal for Configuration Manager and Intune apps. Company Portal can also show Configuration Manager information for things like software updates. In this video, we covered the key dates for retiring the Store for Education functionality in Intune. We also covered a demo on how to move the new Microsoft Store app type. And finally, we went over how you can use Company Portal to provide a curated Store app and that you can deploy Store apps to Configuration Manager clients using co-management. You will find links to key articles and blogs in the video description. Thank you.